Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Media Center here at the Wegmans LPGA Championship. Great to be joined by two of the major champions this year on the LPGA Tour. Full disclosure, by the way, we expected to have Michelle Wee here as well and make this three Americans and three major winners. But we do have these two and uh, quite a year for both of you. Great to have Lexi Thompson here and Mo Martin as well. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Of course, thank you. Let's get some thoughts first of all before we kind of dive into the specifics of your major wins and where you are um, looking forward to potentially winning the big award at the end of the year for major performance. Thoughts on this golf course, and I'll start with you, Lexi. Um, initial impression and what you've thought as you've played it. Yeah, well, I got to play it for the first time yesterday, and it's in perfect shape for us. I mean, um, it's a great layout. I got to hit pretty much driver on every hole. I didn't lay up much, but um, it's a great layout overall, and I think it'll be really good for spectators to watch, and hopefully we'll get a lot of people out here. Did you immediately think, advantage Lexi Thompson? <laughs> well, the whole hitting driver on every hole thing I liked, but, um, you know, I think it just suits for anybody that hits it pretty straight. I mean, I'm sure they'll let the rough grow up even deeper throughout the week, so just keep it straight. Um, usually what a major championship implies. How about you, Mo? What are your thoughts on the golf course? I have actually only seen the front nine. Um, I sprained my thumb last week, so haven't been hitting very many golf balls. Um, I actually walked the front nine yesterday, hit a few chips and putts, and um, I thought very similar things. It's in superb condition, and the layout looks fantastic. So I haven't seen the backside, but I'm really looking forward to it. It's beautiful. So the immediate follow-up is, how's your thumb? <laughs> it's getting better. Um, it's in the process of healing right now. And so I've seen some improvement just in the last few days. So it's looking hopeful. Treatment, what have you been doing? And, and can you hit shots out of this rough without pain? Um, no, I haven't hit any shot without pain. Um, so I think I'm just gonna have to deal with that for a little bit. Uh, it has been x-rayed, so bone structure is healthy. Um, that's very positive. So structurally, nothing serious. Uh, ligament is just, we've got some damage there. So just uh, heat, ice. Um, more ice and uh, rest when I can. Let's get some hands and questions. We've got microphones. One more from me uh, to each of you. 1999, the last time the first three majors in the LPGA were won by American players. It's been since 1992 that all Americans won all of the majors. So far, it's been a great year for the US of A. Specific thoughts on your major championship and your year thus far, Lexi? My thoughts in my year? Yours, only yours. <laughs> um, well, I think it's gone pretty well so far. Obviously, Kraft Nabisco win um, made a huge change in my confidence level, but I'm, that was just an amazing week overall. I was very relaxed and had a lot of fun that week. I've always imagined myself jumping into Poppy's Pond, and that was definitely a dream come true to have my family there jumping in with me. But, you know, it's it's been a great year. I've been just trying to take the positives out of every tournament and keep on working to improve on my game because it's always an ongoing process out here. I would like to know specifically from you what it felt like, not when it happened, but in the weeks since, because I know it was a dream come true that day. Your speech was remarkable. Um, how you gathered yourself and were so composed was, was frankly amazing. But what's it been like since for you? Uh, it's been a whirlwind, um, and things have changed. I mean, for one, I'm doing press conferences. <laughs> That wasn't happening before, so <laughs> I'm adjusting my time, really, uh, a lot more time commitment, so interviews. Um, the first two weeks we had off after Toledo, um, I was doing multiple interviews a day, so that was great. Um, that was great exposure for me, and so it's just really trying to get my time and my preparation like it was before, but I've been able to do some fun things, like put a roof on my grandpa's ranch and, um, you know, threw out the first pitch at the Dodgers game, so... I'm adjusting to post-major life. 